That fight against Rafael Lovato Jr., I mean, I don't even know if we can spend too much time on there. You've been very respectful. It didn't go your way. But the one thing I noticed was it looked like it crushed you. What was it about it that crushed you? Because I looked at it as you were playing with house money. I mean, the expectations were low. He's an undefeated fighter. We all know that you don't suck, Gerald. We know that it's. It, we know that that probably wasn't going to be <laughs> the best you that night anyway. But for some reason, it crushed me as a as a Gerald Harris fan to see you so dejected. What what was that about? Can you maybe expand on those feelings uh, of why you were so demoralized? I guess. Well, I've got a new mentality towards fighting now, especially with Bellator. Bellator is my home, man. I I never saw myself fighting for him because I had always had my eyes set on the UFC. Um, but when I went, I just told him, I said, look, man, I ain't worried about no title shots. I'm just trying to put people to sleep and put seats in the, you know, put people butts in the seats. And I was dead serious. I just want to fight. I want to be an entertaining fighter. I want to end my career on a high note. Um, I'm not chasing titles. I'm literally chasing fans. Like, I want people to come watch me fight. So when I went out there, I, you know, the, the only way that fight was going to go his way was him to catch me early and catch me dry. Which anybody in jiu-jitsu knows that in an MMA fight, the sweater you get, the harder you are to hold on to. And he, man, it, it, it worked out perfect, you know. Um, I knocked him down, and he pulled me down. I mean, I was devastated because I've never been submitted before. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, in practice, but not even in grappling tournaments. I mean, I just got finished, and it just, it, it just felt almost unreal, you know. It, it kind of, it just broke my heart, man. Um, you know, I, 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 I didn't dwell on it too much, but I just I was sitting there going, did I just get finished? Like, <laughs> damn, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know if you had a lot of fighters that talk about losing. It really hurts your spirit, man. It hurts, you know. Mm -hmm. Gerald Harris, our guest here on MMA Junkie Radio. He is a welterweight slash middleweight who will be competing at Bellator <laughs> MMA for the next couple of years. Well, give us the details on the – contract is it like four fights two years something like that or what, what can you discuss you know what it's just it's four fights and i'm already working on my second fight so i mean i'm gonna turn four into ten you know I'm, I'm gonna keep going until i feel like my body is slowing down which it isn't i've had some injuries you guys know i tore my achilles tendon last year right but you know what's crazy man bellator put on a comedy show that thursday night i couldn't do it unfortunately i was cutting a thousand pounds but I think they'll, I think this is where I need to be. They'll support my comedy career. I'm actually waiting on an offer from Comedy Central. I think I think Bellator's gonna let me be, you know, who I want to be. So I mean, I, I couldn't imagine doing a comedy show, you know, for Bellator. And it was it was a legit show at the Laugh House in Chicago. Who else on the Bellator roster is uh, into comedy uh, other than yourself? I think I think Frank Mann went up there. Chel Sonnen went up there. Uh, Yo, uh, okay, I did hear about that. John, John McCarthy went out there, but this is what I do for real, man. People know when I get on the stage, and, and Joe Rogan has mentioned me a few times. He's seen me perform. Um, I sent him a clip. That's what I do. That is my passion. I love it. And for me to be able to go to an organization that supports everything that I do, other than making all these damn kids, I, I'm really happy. Right now, with the success of your comedy career, would the headline be more appropriate, comedian returns back to fighting, or do you still prefer uh, MMA fighter uh, is enjoying success uh, in comedy? I'm definitely going to go the fighter route because people know me more for fighting than they do for comedy. But they're surprised at my comedy act. So I think it's more surprising. I know this sounds kind of backwards. I think it sounds better for a fighter to do comedy than a comedian to fight because it looks like, like when you see Chell, you go, that's a fighter doing comedy. It looks awkward. Now, if a fighter, if a comedian decides to get on stage, I mean, fight, he looks like a dumbass. Like, dude, you're not a fighter, <laughs> you know. So to see another side of me is it, pretty cool. Man, I'm telling you right now, big things are going to happen. And we're only halfway through the year. I would have preferred comedian returns to fighting. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I just I well, feel like, I feel like I'd want to click that fighting. story and go, really? Who? And then when I see it, it's up to me to find out. Um, what, what's this guy been up to, and, and you know, how's this gonna work, or and where can I catch more of him? I don't know. I mean, I guess, yeah, I don't know. I, I, the other way, a few of them have done it uh, already, but um, yeah, I, th I thought like because you fought a few of the fights after World Series on the smaller shows, it felt like like Gerald had been away for a few years. 
You see what I'm saying? And in that time, there's a lot of new fans that may see it as a comedian returning to fighting, but, but what do I know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'll take either way, whatever the fans want, but I'm just known for fighting, so honestly, if whatever way works, works best for me.